before we get started subscribe to my channel uh, I know you guys probably heard uh, you probably been to the grocery store you see this big increase price on eggs almost doubled in some places some places only limit you to like two cartons of eggs but uh, I like to hear Candace Owens opinions about things so we'll watch some of this together and you tell me what you think and leave some comments Question of the day, are you familiar with the egg spiracy? Okay, you never heard it termed like that, the egg spiracy. I just came up with that because it sounds good. But yes, there's a conspiracy regarding the eggs. You know, there's an egg shortage. The price of eggs is very high at this moment. Yeah. And there might be a very legitimate theory as to why that is. But first, up in Connecticut, there was a huge fire which killed 100,000 chickens at one of the country's top egg producers. Wow. We send you guys to my friend Tucker Carlson. He covered this on his show. Hear him talk about that. On Saturday, an enormous commercial egg farm in central Connecticut burned to the ground for no obvious reason. Huge fire. At least 20 fire departments responded, fought the blaze for over eight hours. More than 100,000 chickens died. Hmm. Now, that's a sad story. But what's interesting is that most <laughs> media like what companies do not consider it a story at all. Weird considering egg prices have become an actual problem for most Americans. Egg prices were up more than 100% in many places. And yet, at that exact moment, when eggs are a concern, 100,000 chickens die in a freak fire, and the New York Times, which is right next door in a neighboring state, does not even cover the fire? What is that? Don't worry! Things like this have nothing to do with egg prices, say the media. It's just avian flu. Watch. Egg consumption has grown over the years as many people are eating them as their main protein source. But the production has slumped because of the ongoing bird or avian flu epidemic. Over the last year, the USDA says nearly 58 million birds have been infected in the U.S., making it the deadliest outbreak in U.S. history. Unfortunately, the infected birds have to be killed, causing the egg supplies to fall and prices to surge. In some cases, stores are running out and limiting the amount yeah. people can buy. We bought eggs earlier this week here at Fry's and Levine. Uh, we paid $8.99 for a dozen eggs. So if you ask the Agriculture Department, for example, or anyone in the Biden administration, to the extent they're paying attention, which is not much, they'll tell you that egg prices are high because avian flu, and that's a completely natural virus just like COVID. The price had nothing to do with chicken farms burning down. Again, not that anyone in the government tracks that kind of thing. Why would they? Because nothing like that could ever happen. Settle down, QAnon! <laughs> Gotta love my friend wow. Tucker and his snark. And yeah, it's, it's that ridiculous. It's like they're just telling you, oh, it's a flu, and sorry, 58 million birds are going to have to be killed. And who survives on the shelves? Well, in that little clip, if you noticed, they showed you a box of eggs, and it is owned by Landa Lakes. And here is where it is going to get very, very interesting. So a young woman on TikTok began investigating. She thought it was very strange, right? She lives in the country. She has chickens and her chickens, her hens were not laying eggs. How bizarre. This has never happened before. She starts talking to people locally and it's the same thing. They're saying, yeah, no, my leg, they're not laying eggs. And this started around September. And so she starts to do a little bit of investigation and she starts looking at the feed. Okay, what are we all feeding our chickens? And apparently there's not very many distributors of chicken feed and she determines that there's two main ones and actually she discovers that it's just one main one and it's Purina. Purina is the main owner of the chicken feed that they are all feeding. She goes down and she decides to switch up the feed. She talks to somebody locally who switches the feed and immediately the chicken begins to start laying eggs again after they were no longer given Purina food, Purina feed, and were instead given some local chicken feed. Wow. Listen to this woman in her own words because the conspiracy gets even darker from there. Essentially, right now, nobody's chickens are laying and there's a big conspiracy going on about it being a chicken feed issue. So I dug, dug, dug into the chicken feed issue, come to find out um, producers pride and do more feed from tractor supplier, both manufactured by Purina, mm. which is owned by Lands of Lakes which is in a joint venture with the largest egg producer in the United States. I'm sure you're asking yourself, how does this all tie together, right? How does this all tie together? Well, in case it's not just staring you straight in the face, 
the largest producer of eggs in the United States is in a joint venture with Purina, essentially. So hmm. there you have it. That you would think would be a conflict of interest if you're looking to do a right. merger or an acquisition and you're going, hey, I want to feed the chickens, but also I own, I'm the biggest production of eggs in the United States. I want to feed the chickens, all of them, but also I also want to sell eggs on the side, my own eggs. Yeah, it would make sense at some point that you would say, oh, okay, well, what if I sell this feed and I get all of these chickens to stop laying eggs suddenly? They're still going to feed their chickens with my feed because the chickens got to eat, right? And they'll just assume that there's something going around. Maybe it's the, the bird flu is going around, and that's the reason why their hens are not laying. And then while there's a shortage, I'm going to mass produce and mass sell my own eggs. It seems to be what's going on. And then she even, this girl, she's literally me, by the way. This is me. When I do a deep dive and I understand something's weird and something's off and I start realizing too many kids are sick and have random allergies and I'm suddenly very interested in big pharma and the vaccines, I will dedicate all of my time to looking into who controls and operates what, who is getting the reaping, the financial rewards. And that's what she discovered. She began to look at their financial statements. Take a listen. Well, I went to Cal Maine's uh, website and I looked for their um, financial records. 2022 financial report on Forum 10K. Now, before we go into that report, I want you guys to ask yourselves, when did your chickens stop laying? Mm -hmm. You know, for me, it was around September they started diminishing in their egg production. And then by November, I wasn't getting anything at all. Hmm. So let's just see how, like, what does that have to do with anything, Keely? Well, on page four of their financial report, uh, it reads, in fiscal year 2021, we announced that our board of directors approved several new capital projects with the estimate with an estimated cost of $105 million to further expand the company's cage-free production capabilities. These projects include expanding our cage-free egg production at our Okeechobee, Florida production facility. The project is designed to include the construction of two cage-free layer houses and one cage-free pellet house um, with capacity of approximately 400,000 cage-free hens and 210,000 pullets, respect mm. respectively. Construction is well underway with the first pullets placed in mid-May 2022. The first layer house to be finished by when? Oh, September 2022, when all of our chickens stopped laying. <laughs> And when is the second wow. layer house supposed to be done? Oh yeah, January 2023. And then in Delta, Utah, we are constructing four new cage-free layer houses and two pullet house conversions with capacity for approximately 810,000 cage-free layer ends, with an expected, which is expected to be completed by fall of 2023. They're converting existing K, uh, facilities into nine cage-free layer houses and two pullet houses with a capacity of 953,000 cage-free hens. That's expected to be completed in uh, spring of 2025. Not to mention all of the other uh, egg producers that they've gone into joint ventures with. That timing seems awfully freaking suspicious to exactly. me. Exactly. Don't it to y'all? Yeah. yeah, there you have it. So suddenly Purina says, we expect that we will have a lot of money coming in and we are going to start switching up the feed and we think that it is going to give us more money, millions and millions and millions of more dollars. And it happened. Wow. Remarkable. They really did it. Do you trust Purina? Do you believe that this woman is crazy or do you think that there is something going on? That there is clearly something going on. I'm going to put myself in the department of the latter because I'm not an idiot, and ha 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 for all of you guys that think, oh, it's, you know, the QAnon conspiracy. If you have not yet woken up to the fact that you are intentionally being poisoned by corporations who are colluding with your government, then it might be time for you to do just that. It might be time for you to do your own due diligence. If you really want to live long and live a healthy life, you must wake up to the fact that your government is not interested in keeping you healthy, right? Big corporations, this, these, this sorts of sides of corporations like Purina and Land O'Lakes coming together and wanting, they're not just interested 
in feeding your chickens. There's going to be something deeper and darker going on. And when they suddenly try to tell you that 52 million chickens have got to die because of the flu, which is natural, totally natural, you better believe that it isn't so natural. So I'm fascinated with the story. I'm going to continue to follow it. If you are a farmer and you heard this, if you heard this call about switching the feed from Purina and you have a personal story that you would like to share and your hens just started suddenly laying eggs, please comment and talk about this. I'm going to make sure that we talk about it. I'm so happy that Tucker is talking about it because these are the sorts of stories that should be mainstream. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now, this was a very interesting story. So I like to read the comments and see what ordinary people are saying. Uh, pretty curious. So I started reading through some of the comments and some of them were really long. So we're going to paraphrase a few of these. Let's look at some of it. Somebody wrote, here's my experience with my chickens. We have 19 chickens and in November 22, their production went down from 16 to 19 eggs a day to one egg a day. Some days we got no eggs. We thought maybe the cold weather had decreased sunlight was causing a sudden decline. Though it hadn't been an issue in the past, we put a warming light in the coop and put a timer in the light to give them a longer day. Still no increase in egg production. I heard from a friend that she had fermented her egg uh, chicken feed in the past and that had increased production. I have fermented their feed in my laundry room, which is quite the process. Since no increase in production, I began to see stories on Instagram about the feed being the problem. I was skeptical, but really wanted to get my hands back in business. Saturday, January the 28th, I went to the local feed mill and brought some local product feed, produce feed. After three days, my hens began to lay eggs. The second day, the local feed, I got four eggs and yesterday, five. I got eight eggs. I think there might be something to this. <laughs> wow. Here's another story, you know, somebody said they had 18 chickens and in late August, early September, they stopped laying completely. We didn't get a single egg for about four months. We thought our whole flock was sick. Then we happened to give, give them different feed, not because of anything we heard, and they started laying again. Wow. And somebody wrote the chicken feed needs to be investigated. It was reported that the last two brands have shown stop egg productions. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Uh, somebody told him right here. My grandpa told me as a child, absolutely out of nowhere, as we did not have any pets, never to feed my pets any Purina uh, products, and he called them cancer food. My grandpa was a veterinarian and food inspector in Romania. Wow. <laughs> you can read more and more, but I stop right there. But uh, anyway. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel and I would like to read some of your comments. All right. Have a great day.